Thanks, Jacob. It's Motivational Monday with Dr. Binks from the Weight Management Clinic. Thanks so much for being here. Nice to see you. Yes, we've missed you. There was a week or two we didn't see you, so that's right. maybe that's why my days were off. I didn't know which day was. All right. I love. I always love our topics, but the first word was positive. So positive communication. How important is that? Yeah, I think beyond just even the communication piece, the overall attitude towards life being a little more positive is really hard to maintain these days and I think it's probably been that generation after generation but the ability to recognize that there are things that are positive and negative going on all day long and it's really our perspective that changes whether we're having a positive day or a negative day is really at the core of this topic. Of course because we can see all right I get a flat tire and someone who has a positive thought or sees things positive or relies on faith or something, they're going to go, okay, let's find the blessing in this. Let's find the positive. And the opposite, not so much. Exactly. And that's an example I use with my patients a lot. It was, uh, I was on my way for a motorcycle um, rally in, in Myrtle Beach, actually, and my chopper broke down. And uh, everybody was like, oh my God, you're going to miss the whole rally. And, and to me, it was like, I don't know what was waiting down the road for me. So being slowed down was probably the right thing to happen. Mm -hmm. and, and if you kind of think about that in your day-to-day -day life, how many times do you focus on the more positive angle to something that's going on as opposed to the negative? It doesn't mean you become all Pollyanna-ish and think everything's rosy. It's more just making sure you give equal weight to the positives even when you're buried under negative. Even. Of course. So how does this, Dr. Binks, affect our relationships? Do you know somebody, and I won't ask you to name <laughs> or answer that, but we all know somebody, that um, you're around them and you just feel better. There are those other people though, that you're around them and you just can't wait to get away. Right. I think that if you're in a couple or, or personal relationships of any kind, if, you're, if at some point in time you become the person that everything has a negative spin, nobody's going to want to be around you for very long. And I'm not saying anybody's all one or the other, but maybe paying attention on a daily basis to that balance will stop people from trending towards a more perpetual negative look. Of, in terms of their relationships and when one's feeling a little negative the other one can bring back a little positive and, and balance it in a relationship so you've kind of got two people to tackle the issue that's true so if you can keep that balance and um, and feed off of each other yeah. it of course has a positive effect dr. Binks we appreciate you so much and you can get more information from dr. Binks at the weight management clinic on your screen